Hey guys, welcome to Rue's Basement. I'm Rue. This is my living room. I'm actually kind of crippled up right now. I'm dealing with some stab wounds and a broken hand, so I can't make it down to the basement. But we're going to keep doing a video anyway. So I got some Afghani. That's an Indica. Okay. This is a land strain from Afghanistan. Um, well, I don't know where it's actually from, but you know, the. The strain originated in in, Afghan, in in Afghanistan, and that's what a land strain is. It's uh, weed that has been indigenous to a certain area for long enough that has become hardy in that environment and has acclimated itself to the environment over generations and has become the best weed that it can be for that environment. And that's what a land strain is. Obviously, this was probably not grown in Afghanistan. It's probably... Uh, brought back um, from a seed bank or something and uh, but it still should be pretty stable um, you can you can grow a, as long as it's grown in the right um, which we'll call it environment you know right conditions um, you're gonna be able to get a decent uh, a similar product from the land stream whoa up to a thousand degrees already real quick we don't need to go a thousand degrees oh yeah and by the way I got an email um, stay tuned I just got this today so you guys are gonna be kind of coming along with me in my my email experience my very first email I got it from high five vape um, <clears throat> about 160 bucks shipped with a uh, Quartz banger and a uh, titanium nail. I didn't get the titanium nail in the box. I've been contacted. I've contacted them, and they'll uh, they'll probably ship one out. Uh, it was their mistake. But I've heard from the from other people in buying. Uh, before I buy something, I do a lot of research on it, and uh, their customer service is impeccable. So uh, I felt I felt safe ordering from them and when I opened the box and found that the titanium nail was not included in it, it they had not packaged it and I don't mean that it was not included there's no like you but you buy the unit and then you select whether or not you want nails or whatever attached to it right well I selected that I wanted titanium and they just didn't put it in the box okay um, but I've been in contact with them and I'm, I'm pretty confident that they're gonna go ahead and make it right because uh, they just have that kind of customer customer satisfaction reviews that I've read, you know. So I'm I'm pretty confident in that. All right, we got this guy dropping down to about seven ten. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little flavor dab on this. Uh, let's see if I can manage, not drop this on myself. This incredible flavor. <laughs> and part of that is because we're dealing with a quartz nail. Quartz have a better flavor. And it's low temperature. Well, it's not low, low temperature, but it's it's lower than what I'd be normally hitting my my torch with it, right? Um, so we're not burning it at that high of a temperature. And it's really good flavored uh, dabs to begin with. So... Yeah, it's um kind of a real earthy, pungent, 
Um, not so much of the pine that I like, but it, it's got that earthy that I, I can really appreciate. I do like earthy. Um, it's got a pungent. If you'll notice these, though, they're kind of greenish. Um, I apologize for the light. Obviously, we're not in the basement, but it's a little greener than I like my dabs to normally be. Uh, that usually indicates that um, chlorophyll has gotten extracted as well as THC. Um, chlorophyll is the plant. Chlorophyll doesn't get you high. But, uh, so yeah, it's, it's going to be a, a less um, concentrated, you know, because it's, it's greener. But, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and... And bust a good one on the on the butch. Let's see if we can't get nice and high. Not that much. When the EMT showed up, I just taken a dab and I was getting ready to take another one, and the police were here. And they were like, "You're not gonna do drugs." While we're here, are you? And I'm like, no, I'm just gonna smoke some weed. And they're like, no, 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 not while we're here. He was like, could you just not until we leave? <laughs> I was trying to get the cops to leave so I could take another dab, but they wouldn't leave. Right. Let's see if I can do this. Ta da! Ta da! Ooh. So one thing I don't like, I mean, this is, I imagine this is true with all, uh, quartz bangers in their, uh, e-nails, is that, uh, there's nothing to keep it from falling out the, you know, falling off the bottom, but, that's just kind of, I mean, it is a, it is a well fit, uh, I mean, it's, it's not like they made it loose or anything, but metal expands when it gets warm. It's a fact. Um, so as it as it expands, you know, it it can uh, loosen up a little bit. So a little bit of adjusting, and just be able to get it to stay on there. But I'm really excited for the titanium one that will attach right into it, you know, and it'll stay up. Well, let's turn this bad boy up. About nine hundred is is where I I was taking them earlier and I was I was really enjoying them. It's my I like them a little warmer, a little hotter, burned it a little faster. You saw that that seven hundred and ten dab it didn't really take that much dab, but it was it was quite a few uh, quite a few puffs on it. So anyways, let's get to let's get heating up. It heats up fairly quickly. I mean, I'm, I've only had the unit for a day, but I'm I'm thoroughly impressed with it. I will bring you guys along for the ride. Now, I noticed when I set it to something, it will jump up and then climb back down. So we'll go. It will go a little hotter than I have it set, and then it'll it should slowly start climbing back down. Stabilize out at 900. This smoke looks really cool in this living room. <laughs> yeah, I just, I love that constant heat and that. If I had tried to take that 
and I had that nailed to 900 degrees, it would have cooled down and it would have pulled up. But instead, I was able to get a few more hits out of it and take that entire dab without wasting any of it. And that was really nice. <coughs> well, I'm going to kick it right here for a bit. Um, maybe I'll come back with some effects, but probably not because I'm all fucked up on painkillers and shit. But kind of just wanted to shoot a video, let you know I'm all right. I got an email. We're doing all right. So make sure to leave me a comment. You guys got an email? Uh, what brand do you use? You know, what do you think of them? Are you still using the torch? What's up with that? Uh, hit that like button if you enjoy the video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. <laughs> Smoke and always share. And I get the fuck out of my basement or living room. <laughs> what?